were to give advice to someone, a, a young woman who is starting a new business and in startup mode um, from scratch, maybe with a little bit of savings to get yeah. her going, and you were to give her sort of top three you know, pieces of advice, yeah. what would those three tips be? My first thing is right now, like running a startup is like very in vogue, if you will, and I would say don't take any leap to running your own business until you put in the legwork to make sure it's gonna work. The worst thing that you could do is take a big leap, let's say drop out of business school or spend some of your savings or quit your job and then go to run something that you're not sure if it's gonna work. Um, and you don't have to be 100% sure, but you have to have done enough research and talk to enough experts in the space or in the field to know that this idea isn't terrible. The second big piece of advice I would say is if you can mix something that you're really skilled at with something that you truly believe in and, and you're passionate about, that's what gives that extra little edge where I'll stay a little bit later even when I'm so bone tired or I will make us triple check something that doesn't need to be triple checked because I just want to make sure it's that right or wake up at four o'clock in the morning to do TV interviews um, even though I haven't slept and it's just because I believe in it and um, I know when I'm 90 and I look back at my life I'm going to be really proud of where I am even if we don't have one more day of success. And then the third thing I would say is have a really good group of people around you to support you that are not involved in the business because sometimes you just need to come home and you just need like a hug because you had a terrible day or you need like chocolate chip cookies which are a really good cure if you're having a bad day <laughs> like a bucket of wine.